folks, this is Ayat Raja from InspireTries.com and today we have the LG K7 smartphone here with us for a detailed hands-on review. So guys, let's begin. The LG K7 comes with a 5-inch Insel Touch display which does look really good. On the bottom we have the 3.5mm jack and the micro USB port. On the top we just have a small hole for the microphone and apart from this the smartphone on the back has the power button and the volume rocker just like we have seen in the traditional LG smartphones and it comes with the ARM Cortex A7 processor and you just get 1.5 GB of RAM, 8 GB internal storage, 2125 mAh of battery, Android 5.1 lollipop on this system and this smartphone is around just 8.6 mm thin. It has few other features like the 2.5D R glass on this one is really a treat to see and touch and apart from this it comes with a 5 megapixel front camera and a 5 megapixel rear camera which is nothing that great to write home about it's just okay enough it gets the job done for taking some quick shots but apart from that it's nothing too great so hi guys this is me and it's okay it's okay for those occasional shots but there was a lot of noise in almost all of the pictures and the color reproduction too wasn't that great wasn't that good enough the saturation in these images wasn't that great and in low light conditions the camera suffered horribly so that's something bad about the camera on this device and the selfie camera did perform a little bit okay there was a little bit of detail but the saturation still wasn't there so that's all for the camera it scored 20408 on the undo 2 benchmark which is a low score not that great score in terms of performance not that great 58.6 on nina mark 2 decent score 962 on multi core and 301 on the single core score on the geek bench 3 benchmark and a very low score on the quadrant standard test while playing games like crossy road we did notice some lags here and there and the same was the case for its higher cousin the k10 there also we saw some lags while playing even smaller games like these so that's something bad but the overall performance during switching between different user interface menu options and all of that wasn't that bad so lg has worked a little bit on their custom ui it didn't feel that bad but multitasking took a serious hit with just 1.5 gigabyte ram and we weren't able to switch that quickly between apps sometimes even the touch flicks weren't registered that nicely so that's something bad and apart from that the smartphone does feel really nice to hold in hand and it has few features like gesture interval shot tap and shot which do make it a little bit okay smartphone to use and to hold in hand and it would retail for a price of around 9500 rupees so guys in case you like this quick hands-on video for this smartphone do hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel this is Ayatinaja from inspiredrise.com signing off folks stay inspired guys